So Debbie Zellman is the prototype of the Energizer Bunny. She is phenomenal in her ability to uh, rally people and organize an event and, and bring a lot of attention to uh, a disease process that very few people were paying attention to. As many of you know, and as you've heard, I was diagnosed in April of 2008 with stage four stomach cancer and told at the time of my diagnosis that I had a 4% chance of living five years. I decided after spending about a year in bed that I would start a foundation to help other stomach cancer patients who were not as fortunate as I was. When I first got involved, when I first talked with Debbie on the phone, um, and it was really it was really clear what her passion was and how really she had very specific goals for where she wanted to take this foundation. And, and now that I've been involved with her for a couple of years, and I get to see the progress that they've made. Debbie's Dream Foundation really is, I think, the primary advocate as an organization or foundation to provide education and to advocate for research funding to find a cure for stomach cancer. The work to push for research funding is instrumental in allowing us to have better cancer therapies. Maybe not tomorrow or next week, but in the coming years, this is what's going to really impact our ability to, to care for our patients. The lives of thousands of stomach cancer patients are going to be positively affected because of your work. Senate Labor, Health and Human Services and Education and Appropriations Subcommittee, Majority Staff. We're going to the Dirksen Building. What that means is it's a very important person that we have to pitch. So we'll catch you guys later. Bringing the message to Congress. We need to make a change. We need additional funding and additional attention for stomach cancer research. Devoted to making sure that we have all the money we need to get the research needed so we can eliminate the stomach cancer. As we know, that's one of the harshest uh, cancers that uh, one can get. Here's our goal. We're going to make Debbie's dream come true. Right? I also really want to thank uh, Debbie's Dream Foundation for the good work they do in trying to make treatments accessible and more understandable to all our patients and also to everybody who has been a supporter of Debbie's Dream Foundation. We can't continue to do this kind of work without your continued uh, and um, increased support to, to make our services available widely. Uh, regardless of where it was on the map, we, we'd be happy to be here tonight. And uh, you know, anything we could do to help such a great foundation that Debbie's uh, started, we'd be happy to do it. As a survivor that myself as well as others are symbols of hope for the newly diagnosed. Uh, it is the scariest moment in your life when you're diagnosed with something as unknown and seemingly uh, brutal as stomach cancer. You, know, you read the statistics, the survival rates are low. Uh, the thought of living without a stomach is absolutely um, mind-boggling and no one understands that you, in many cases, you don't understand that you can even live without a stomach. Uh, Debbie's Dream Foundation functions on a number of different levels and uh, really uh, has done a tremendous job uh, for helping to uh, support gastric cancer awareness, gastric cancer research efforts, and also being a resource for patients and their families. Without people and organizations uh, like you supporting causes like this, um, there would be a lot less glimmer of hope. So I just want to say thank you from, from my family. There's nothing like human interaction. There's nothing like the human touch. And when you're sitting in a room with a group of people that are going through the same thing that you're going through, you help each other get through it. And that's what Debbie's Dream did for me. Before, when I was first diagnosed, we, we had no place to go. We didn't know what to do. We were lost and it was like there was no light. And then out the blue, we got a phone call she opened the door for us to a wealth of knowledge that was the thing that we needed to pick up our hopes and know that there is a tomorrow and life is not over. We need that research happening at, at the foundational level for stomach cancer so that we can build that, that knowledge base that, that some of the other cancers have so that we can continue to make the advancements and, and more specifically advance it, advancements for stomach cancer. I think hope is very important, you know, and the fact that, 
yes, I lost my husband to stomach cancer, but the hope is that others may not lose their daughter, son, husband, wife, child, whatever, to stomach cancer, and that we can make a difference, and that we don't let the legacy of our ones that we've lost die. We continue their work and their fight. And with Debbie's dream, together we can do that. So Debbie is, uh, I think, is a unique individual because she's very driven, she's very optimistic, she has a can-do attitude, and even though she is the patient, she's driving the whole enterprise herself. So I think uh, just a phenomenal person. So happy birthday, Debbie. Debbie, thank you so much for bringing me into the stomach cancer world and making me part of your foundation. Happy birthday, Debbie. Well, happy birthday, Debbie. Uh, I can't say enough about how much you've done for everybody with gastric cancer and really what you've done also to help us in our work. Debbie, I'm uh, one of your many admirers. Uh, I wish you uh, a wonderful uh, birthday and um, thank you for all that you've done. Debbie, you're an inspiration to everyone. And we're so lucky to call you our friend. Happiest, Happiest of birthdays. birthdays. We, we love, love you. you. Mwah.